Braidwood area farmers Jamie Ram, Sarah Gordon and Tim Reynolds are involved in the Farming for the Long Haul program. The program is helping Jamie and Sarah to work together as neighbours to implement the farm plans they have prepared and assisting Tim to adopt holistic management of his property. Well, the way we saw it before, uh, things weren't... things needed to change. The land was getting more and more de degraded um, and our stock weren't doing as well as what they used to do. Fertilisers have less effect. We just needed to try different things. I didn't know anything about farming, so that was pretty much why I went and did the PMP. I learnt an enormous amount and we developed a full property management plan, which was fantastic. It would take 10 years to do what we've done in the last four months. We've planted between us about over 5,000 trees. There's not that much money in farming that you can go out and, and uh, do all the, all the work that we've been doing. I mean, we don't, don't like really taking government money, but I guess the benefits will be for the whole, whole community. We've managed to create a green corridor that runs from the base of um, the hills behind the property and the remnant timber up there, all the way down through dams and waterways to join up with one of the main creek systems. So we feel really proud of that too. Farming for the long haul has uh, allowed us to subdivide the whole of the property from three very large paddocks into seven much smaller paddocks. Seven years ago we started with what they call holistic management, which is where we split the place up into small paddocks. Now what Farming for the long haul gave us was a more secure fence. We only temporary fenced a lot of the creeks and the gullies. So we're able to put a secure fence in there and know the stock couldn't get in there. We've implemented a stock uh, access laneway, which means we can drive from one end of the property to the other without having to open a gate. We can sell graze uh, much more effectively now. We have seven paddocks. We move the cattle in rotation around those paddocks over about a three month period. Whereas before the cattle were grazing pretty much all the time. So that's uh, made our grazing practices much more sustainable. It's allowed us to fence off areas um, that were suffering from erosion. And we've also used those areas to uh, create shelter belts for the cattle and for the pasture. The on-track paddock indicators have enabled us to um, look at our paddocks more closely and give us something to work more towards, um, probably getting more more of the native plants that actually best suited to our environment. We had been taught to do this with holistic management in just one session, but we've had the assistance of the catchment manager authority people come out and actually show us the plants and exactly how to do it on a few occasions. So it's been a great asset to, to me to be able to get that. And they, they take down the statistics of that and are able to give us back the uh, ground covers, the insects, the length of the grass and compare it so six months early, which is so we know whether we're going forward or backwards. We do a, a monitoring um, system on the pasture which allows us to perhaps understand the effects of the grazing and how we can manage that more sustainably, how we can keep the soil healthy, how we can get healthier pasture, healthier cattle. Um, I've really enjoyed doing that, that's been great fun. Before we did the pasture monitoring we didn't really look at our pastures in the great detail that we do now. Traditionally, uh, agronomy has always been about planting monocultures and through the monitoring we're able to see the benefits of having uh, more diversity in our pastures. It's been very satisfying watching um, all, of that, all of the implementation of the works take place. Uh, it was a lot of work, but it was really, really good to see it all come together, especially when it's a vision that's been on paper and in your mind, to actually then see it physically in the landscape has been enormously rewarding. The benefits are not only economical and, and uh, environmental, but they also have an effect on the wellbeing of me and the family when we drive down the paddock and see the trees growing and different birds and, um, yeah, no, it's a good, good feeling. The CM, CMA, in particular Sky and, and Rebecca, and all of them actually, there's a whole resource of people there that you can call on and are so willing to give their knowledge. And it's been a blessing to me to get that support because I'm a little bit on my own having changed my farming, farming practice, practices, but they are so, so supportive. Because farming is coming less and less profitable, um, we, were, we weren't able to afford to 
do implement our farm plan to certainly in the short term that farming for the long haul has given us the fundings to do. And as far as I, I can see, the sooner we get into it, the sooner we'll get the benefits from it. And farming for the long haul certainly gave us the means to do that. If the funding continues, then other farmers will um, get to experience what we've experienced and the benefits will be for everyone in the long term.